Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on Tuesday, April 25th, end of the month here. Quiet ish day. Today we've got some consumer confidence out in the U.S., uh, 4 p.m. Swiss time. We just had core CPI out of uh, Japan, came in a little bit hotter, 2.9. Not really much of a, a reaction in dollar yen. Uh, let's just take this on the five minute chart. You can see a little bit of uh, 30 paid, 25 given, 23 given um, on the CPI. Obviously, BOJ is this Friday. Everyone is expecting no change, um, which could be dangerous, right? So, um, should be interesting, BOJ this Friday. But for now, pretty muted, muted reaction. Um, not doing too much. Let's look at what's going on. Our Aussie uh, Kiwi finally dropped off here. Um, you can just harvest this now. Uh, one oh eight and a quarter. And cable yesterday. It was a little bit stubborn, but as we expected, uh, cable floated higher. Um, will it continue to float higher today? I don't know. Um, I feel like we took a lot of those stop entries off the books, and it was late when it happened, um, when 2470 went sort of between 1 and 2 p.m. New York time, 7 and 8 p.m. Swiss time. Um, it was a real patience kind of a trade. Um, but now there's going to be some risk at 70, right? So 08 was the high, and those of us who bought through 70 either... Are at break even, which just means stops at 70, or if you really fucking nailed it and sold old 05s, your stop will be at 35. But the point is, there's going to be stops between 70 and 50 now um, for the very, very disciplined type of traders. Uh, other people might call them weak hands, like I've been called weak hands before, I've been called a pikey, I've been called Every, pretty much every fucking derogative name, derogatory name in in the world is a world of trading. Um, but that um, that usually just means you're disciplined. Uh, so anyway, um, let's keep it. Let's keep an eye on this. We have some, you know, public sector net borrowing figures, which are never going to be good in the UK. It usually doesn't drive cable anywhere, but it is coming up. And then uh, we've got broadband speaking and CBI industrial orders uh, midday, uh, Switzerland. So 11 a.m. and then 12 Switzerland. So if you've got your cable, I just encourage you to, to uh, be disciplined. And as we talk, as we always have talked about with our Bibles, uh, let the trade winds flow. Just let the price do what it needs to do. Um, and live with it, right? There's always another trade. As far as new shit today, um, we're a little bit stumped uh, with dollar CAD. Oil's higher, uh, 78, almost 79 bucks now. We talked about it on Twitter yesterday. Everybody's looking for the gap fill. Um, didn't happen. Dollar CAD and all the CAD crosses are just kind of, you know, dick in a box, right? This should be lower. Um, is that a break trade? Can you, do you even want to ever trade break trade dollar cad? I don't know. Um, but now there's, I don't know what's going on at 135, uh, 22, holding up the train, as you would say. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, uh, green days in dollar cad. Made it through these 135, 50 highs, and now we're just, putzing around um, we don't typically uh, push our chips in in dollar cad in Europe we wait for the hockey fans to come in uh, I know Toronto is um, in the Stanley Cup playoffs right now so these guys have been up late a bit groggy this morning watching their hockey uh, Let's just watch 135.22 when North America comes in. Uh, mildly, mildly interesting. Let's look at gold. 
I mean, you should just own gold, but the volatility you have to wear is, is fucking silly. So we're still waiting uh, patiently for maybe a trip down to 1950. Between 1950 and 1930, um, we'll be owners of gold. Uh, let's see how, see how that goes. Euro Norway is similar to um, dollar CAD. Not really sure why this hasn't turned. Again, these bars, this tr price never traded to 58. Excuse me. This bar is not, um, you know, it's a fucking fraudulent candlestick. It's, you know, I don't know why. <laughs> Trading view can't sort that out on the um, price action at, at, at the end of the day. But, um, why hasn't dollar uh, euro Norway turned? I don't know, um, but perhaps it should, right? Oil has turned, um, and so CAD and Norway, a bit weird right now. This is something that's just fun to watch. We don't have any, uh, we don't have a horse here, but I know all of you read just as just as I did that this, you know, the hedge fund community or the community at large is max short. Uh, interest rate futures, so they're long rates. They think rates are going higher, uh, and you know, since putting on this position, probably between 355 and 360, um, shit has just gone straight down. Uh, 13 basis points, not the biggest, you know, move ever, but just one of those classic crowded trades. There's just no more sellers of interest rate treasury futures. And when there's no more sellers of something, even though it's the correct direction, shit just gets stuck. Very similar to dollar Swiss right now. Everyone's long dollar Swiss. There's just there's just no more buyers of dollar Swiss, and here we are. Bang, bang, bang. Eighty-eight, sixty. Um, there's going to be some sort of capitulatory puke here in, in, in Swiss. I don't know when it's going to be or where it's going to be, but. Um, Right now, it's just a slow burn lower, and then it has a couple moves up to give people hope, and then right back on the neck. Choke hold. Send them to Valhalla. Uh, what else is out there? Let's go to Euro. So Euro through 110 was nice. Never went back below 110. Um, You know, I guess 99, 98, whatever. It was dancing around, dancing on. But um, pretty straightforward. This can continue to go higher. It's not going to go higher in a straight line because it's euro. Um, no trade here. I don't even know why I'm bringing it up, I guess. The point is, is there's not really a lot out there um, right now as far as new trades. Uh, we're watching this dollar CAD. We got a little bit of an eye on Euro Norway, but we're not gonna fool around with that. The rest of the shit out there is is uh, not really sure what to do. CAD Swiss, this is a bit stretched, but what are you gonna do with that? I think this is the all-time low in CAD Swiss, like in the history of CAD Swiss. Here's the yearly chart. Yep, look at that. Since 1983, CAD Swiss has never been this low, and it goes hand in hand with. What <clears throat> with what's going on in, with the Swiss franc everywhere. Swiss yen is at close to the all-time highs. Cat Swiss is at the, is, is the all-time lows. Um, the whole world owns Swiss francs, or the whole world loves Swiss francs, or, or the SMB is, is trying to control inflation by, by selling foreign assets and repatriating the shit into Swiss. <clears throat> Who knows? But... It's happening. Um, feels a little bit overextended. Uh, you see Euro Swiss here, also near the all-time lows. I believe Euro Swiss traded traded ninety cents for a quick second. Um, Euro Swiss kind of had a turn bar yesterday, but like you know, the psychology, you know, candlesticks in Euro Swiss don't really work. Candlesticks are about psychology um, and mass psychology. The masses don't trade Euro Swiss. It's like a select group of like ninjas, like Swiss ninjas who are in there, like quietly on the roof, you know, 
about to about to murder you. Um, so candlesticks don't work as well um, with Euro Swiss. But if you are a dedicated candlestick guy, you'd be like, oh look at that long tail, close at the top, it's gravestone doji, higher high today, yay turn bar. Um, keep it in your pants. It's Euro Swiss. Uh, candlesticks don't work with that. All right, I'm babbling on a bit. Uh, we're watching this dollar cad. Um, otherwise, we harvested the, the Aussie Kiwi. Not much to do there. If you want to be brave, you might want to buy some low ones in CAD Swiss, um, which is basically also watching dollar cad, right? Um, CAD Swiss does look a little bit mispriced. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. Quiet, quiet start for us today. Um, patience is the trade. Patience.